Hey, what's happening guys and welcome to your sixth Bootstrap 4 tutorial. In this video, I want to focus on the flex properties of the Bootstrap 4 grid system. All right then, so in the last tutorial, we made all these different rows right here. And within those rows, we had various elements and we used Bootstrap grid classes to say what width we want those elements to be, how many columns we want each one to take up. For example, this one right here, call MD6 says I want this element right here to take up six columns in width from a medium sized screen and upwards. So we can do this, but we can also make use of Bootstrap's flex properties as well. So imagine I wanted these two elements to be equal widths, but I don't want to specify how many columns. OK, well, I can do that by just removing this thing right here. And I tell you what, let's just get rid of these two rows so we can just focus on this. So now they both just have a class of call MD without saying how many columns in width I want each element to be. So what Bootstrap will do is look at this and say, OK, I'm going to use my flex properties to automatically work out the width of these and assign them those columns so that they're equal on medium sized screens and upwards. So let's save this now and check it out. And you can see if we go to a medium sized screen, then we're going to get these two elements taking up the same amount of horizontal space, the same amount of columns, if you like. Now, they are going to be six columns each, but we've not had to specify that. Bootstrap has already worked it all out for us. We just had to say call MD, call MD, and that's going to make those two elements equal in width. All right. So that's a cool little thing. Let's try it with a few different elements. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in. And this time, let's get rid of this text. We'll just say call MD, call MD. And I tell you what, because I'm so lazy, I'm going to delete those, copy these again and paste them in right there. OK, so if we take a look at this now, it's automatically worked out the width of those four elements to make them equal on bigger size screens. So a minute ago, these were six columns in width when there were only two of them. But now they're three columns in width each because three times four is 12. So it's automatically worked it out for us. And then on smaller screens, they still stack because we've said we want this to be from medium sized screens upwards. Pretty cool, right? So what if we want to determine the width of one of these, but let Bootstrap work out the width of the others. So let me show you a quick example. Let's take away one of these elements and let's say we want the middle one right here to be six columns in width. We want that to be for definite. And we want Bootstrap to use its Flexbox system to work out what the width of these two should be automatically. And we want the width of these two, top and bottom, to be equal. Bootstrap can do that. All we need to do is say how many widths or how many columns in width this should be, this element. Bootstrap is automatically going to work out the width of these two dudes right here. So let's save it and check it out. So this time, this one is six columns in width because we've said so right there. And Bootstrap has automatically made these two equal right here. So that is really cool. And we can do the same if we want to make this, I don't know, eight columns in width. It's going to do the same thing. That is really cool. So that's some of the benefits of the new Flex grid system. I also want to show you a couple more things. And to do that, I'm going to create a new row. So let's just copy this and paste it down here. I'm going to get rid of this star right here. We don't need it. We want to distinguish it from this. And this time around, what I want to do is say, OK, call MD hyphen two, call MD hyphen two and call MD hyphen two. And I'm just going to add those on there so we can see them. We know what they are, hyphen two, hyphen two and hyphen two. So now all of these take up two columns in width, right? And if I save this and not select all, save and view it in a browser, now we can see each one of those takes up two columns in width. Now that only adds up to six columns, which is why they're only taking up half of the horizontal space. That's fine, we can do that in Bootstrap, okay? That's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you is how we can align these elements to either the left or the right. So say for example, I want these three items to be aligned over here to the right. Well, I can do that. And I do it by adding a class here to the row. So I can say, justify content. And that tells Bootstrap, look, I want to justify these elements within this row in some direction. From what screen size? Well, it's going to be from medium sized screens upwards and it's going to be in the center. So if I save that now, check it out in the browser. Now we see they align in the center. Pretty cool, right? So one other thing I want to show you is the ordering of these elements. So let's just put one here because we know that's the first element, two here. We know that's the second element and three here. 
save that and we can see that one two three okay now what if i wanted to switch the order of these for small screen say i wanted this one to be first well i can do that by adding classes down here to these individual elements so i can say for example down here i'll say flex first and what that is going to do is make this the first element okay and then i can come here and i can say flex last and this is going to make this the last element so we're reordering things so one should be last and two should be first three should be then in the middle so let's save this and we can see now two is first three is in the middle and for uh, one is last pretty cool right so there are some of the features we can use with the new flexbox grid system in bootstrap 4 what I'm going to do is leave the link to the documentation for the flex grid down below so you can go ahead and check it out because there's quite a lot more. This is just kind of like an introduction to the new features. Okay then gang, so this is the documentation for the Bootstrap 4 grid system. I'm going to leave this link right down below and I do advise you to take a look at this page because there is a little bit more to the Bootstrap 4 grid system than I've already explained in this video. It's got a nice table of contents so we know where everything is. So for example, if I click flex order, it's going to give us a little example of how to use it. We've just taken a look at this in the code. So yeah, I definitely would advise you to have a read through this page and check out the different options that it provides us with. As a side note, we can also use Bootstrap 4's Flexbox utilities on other elements in our document as well. It's not just restricted to the grid system. We can use it on the nav bars, for example. So what I'm going to do is a bonus lesson right at the end of this series, which is going to go into more detail about how to use Flexbox on other elements and some of the different properties it allows us to use. So stay tuned for that one.